Hallo allemaal, we zijn hier in Qatar op het Lochsaal International Circuit. En we zijn hier voor de introductie voor de superbrute KTM Super Duke R1290. En ik ben een echte motornerd. Ik heb van mijn leven nog nooit op een circuit gereden. En op de weg gaat het ook al niet zo snel. Maar dankzij deze man, Jeremy McWilliams, heb ik mijn eerste touchdowns gehad. So, Jeremy, if you can really explain, because I forgot it was such an it was so an intense dag. Can you explain what people should do if they would ever go on a track just like me for the first time? I think the first advice is go and ask somebody who has got a track experience. Uh, don't just turn up blind uh, and, th and believe that you can find your way and you know work out what to do. It's much easier if you just get a little bit of advice like we did beforehand. And uh, <laughs> the we just got a drag race going on behind oh us. Yeah. So the uh, really go and go and ask advice from somebody like myself or somebody who knows what what they're doing. They can give you little tips as right. we, we spoke about on, on how to you know manage the bike on the track without really getting into difficulty. So that's the first piece of advice. And obviously the second, like we spoke about, is how it's so easy to flow on the track without putting big inputs into the bike. No big throttle inputs, no big brake inputs. So keep the throttle very low in the corners. Yeah, I, you know, I suppose we're misunderstood sometimes. Uh, a lot of people think that we ride into the corner and then accelerate through, which is completely not what we do. We, we, we ride and, and carry momentum into the corner. And then we use very, very little throttle to maintain that. You know, it's, uh, that's why it's called maintenance throttle. And we maintain that with as little as 5% throttle in most corners until we see the exit. Then we have recovery and then we accelerate again. And we get to the next corner. One thing that we see quite often is that, that riders brake quite heavily, which means that they have to accelerate into the corner. We carry the momentum into the corner. So little braking, little throttle inputs, really smooth and you become a track rider like you did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So one last tip for the people who have never had this before, because I was very afraid to lean over that bad, but you told me and it worked. So. Well, we, you know, we, we know that we, we can trust this bike and the tires. We have a really good setup for the track. It is set up for, for track use. We're using road tires, but they work very well on the low style circuit. And when you believe in yourself and you start to copy what, what I'm doing in front, body position is a big uh, point. You know, it's, a, it, it's, it's one of the big areas that, that, that you have to work in to achieve this. So you have to slide off the side of the bike like you did using, you know, taking your butt cheek off the side of the bike. Then you're in a position to put your knees down. You know, you cannot sit on the middle of the bike and put your knees down because the lean angle is so great, you're going to have a problem. So once, once you put all of that together, it's, it's kind of simple. You know, it's not, it's not so difficult. Man, at least you gave me uh, an experience of a lifetime. This is uh, bloody awesome. Uh, I'm coming home very happy. So thank you very much, man. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, this was it. These are the tips from the Melster. Um, as you ooit gaat track rijden. Vertrouw deze bakmouwen, want het gaat wel lekker. Nonder you, wat een fucking monster. Sorry, excuse me, but I love it. It's beautiful. Sander, out. Tot de volgende keer.